is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. And it's a quick pass to Hughes. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. Montreal's on the attack. Feeds it over. Poked away in the defensive end. Here's the pass down low. And he takes the dish. And that shot dies in traffic. A little bump in the ramp, but still maintains possession. Quick pass to DeBrusque. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Taken by Savard. Feeds the puck to Caulfield. Sends a pass over. And that goes off a player in front. Moves it on over to DeBrusque. And now he moves it quickly to Besser. With possession along the wall. Moves it to Susie. Sends it in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Oh, look at this. And that turns off one of his teammates in front. Demko's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. The Canucks win the draw on their own end. And now it's to Myers. He carries the puck up along the wing. Myers plays it against the boards. And that's deflected off someone in front. Slides it over with pace to Cooley. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Pedersen's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. The Canucks look to start the transition game. Vancouver's through center and now in the offensive end. A chance in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We've still got zeros on the board. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. What a chance, but can't finish. Well, you gotta make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. Here's in front, Works it off the post. It's a straight up race for the puck. And he comes up with it. Grabbed along the board by Forbord. Grabs the puck. Into the attacking area from the left side. The Canucks gain possession. Puck grabbed by Boulder. And the save. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Montreal's got it in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Pizzetta. The Canadians carry it along the wall. Montreal's got it now. Moves it quickly over to Sherwood. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Still has possession. Here's the shot. And the puck skips off the puck. Denies him. There's the whistle and a much needed one at that, Cheryl. Lovering takes a breath of fresh air here as they're able to reset as they get chaotic in their own zone. They've lost their coverage. They get the whistle now. Past the halfway mark of this period. Still looking for our first goal. And that one doesn't go. I thought that one was the first goal of the game right there. And that's why it's such a tough miss. I mean, you really want to set the tone in the game, and you always want to strike first. Good check. Freeze the puck up. The Canucks are on the attack. Quick shot! Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there! Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. To the low slot! Great stop by Montembeau! Well, that's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that! Headman pass! Big play inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Savard.
Montreal's got the puck against the boards. And he loses control here. Oh, he'll feel that one. Cuts into the paint. Drops him with the glove. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. The Canadians win the draw. The Canucks gain possession in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space? Goaltender does it, makes a save. Here's a short pass to Besser. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, he knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, bam, and he's down to the count. They score! The deliver! I hear coaches preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Montreal's fourth trip finally breaks through as they get on the board here late in the first. Uh, good teams find ways to be successful, and they do just that. And they've been clawing their way through to the offensive end all game long, and they finally get rewarded. Here's a chance in front! Gain possession along the wall. Here's a chance in front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Vancouver's put a lot of pucks on net so far here in this first period, but they still find themselves trailing late. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Swing and a miss. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Rocks him on the play. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. Slides it across. Makes the save. stages of this period, the Canadians have taken a 1-0 lead. Evans has won the draw inside his own end. Takes the feed. C'est la dernière minute de la première période. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Through center. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments.
second period. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Montembeau is the only reason that his team is in this game, James, and he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. Drives it to the crease! And he was ready for that one! in this frame. The Canadians lead it 1-0. Miller's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Oh, what a block! A little pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. And a great save! A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Slides the puck across to Miller. Continue to trail early in the second period despite leading the shot department. Pedersen's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Quick shot! Oh, that's gonna hurt. What a play! And that's broken up with a stick in front. Takes a hit but still hangs on to the puck. And they'll dump it in. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Here they come. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And that's knocked away by Cooley. Oh, that's one way to make space for yourself. Moves it to the middle, and it's blocked. From center, they get into the attacking area. Fires it on net. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Puck battle along the boards. Check to slow him down. Quick pass to Hirode. How did he stop that one? The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Vancouver's look good offensively to this point, but they continue to trail here in the second. The Canadians win it in the defensive zone. Handles the pass. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. Cuts to the front. Let's see what the officials are calling. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. Teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Puts it on net, turns it aside with the save. The Canucks get a hold of the puck under man. The Canadians going to work on offense. Line A's got the puck. There's a solid collision. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Myers. Gaining momentum up along the side. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. And they continue to apply pressure here. Passes it over. Oh, he got a T-spin to keep it out. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Vancouver's won the faceoff deep in their own end. And a little body contact on that play. Puts it in deep. 
Dunks the knob, but he's still got the puck. Dunks lugging the puck. The Canadiens' man advantage is over. Oh, a tremendous save on the puck! James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Montreal's ahead, 1 0. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And that pass goes off the stick. Vancouver's moving it up the ice. To his teammate. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Samar. Passes over to Pozzetta. Poked away in the neutral zone by Myers. Vancouver's got the puck. Montreal's got the puck. Moves it to Gallagher. Montreal's got it in the offensive zone. Puck dumped in. Pass across to Miller. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Here's a shot. And cut that one out of the net. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. More than half the period has expired. Montreal's up one zip. And they win the draw here in their own end. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Fires it! Stones him in front. Vancouver's had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. Off the draw, they take possession. Moves it quickly over to Garland. And he takes the pass. Turns it away. The well, goaltender has to be able to anticipate the play, and he does just that. Gets square to the shooter in the low slot and makes the save. The Canadians will play it against the wall. The feed. Fantastic save! What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Sanders glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Bluegers won a big draw on their own end. Oh, 
Charles opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Here in the late goings of the period, the Habs now lead by three. Vancouver's won the draw, no go to work. Turns aside the slap shot, wow! Pushes it across to Savard. Pumps the puck away. Scooped up along the wall by Matheson. Moves the puck over to Savard. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Oh, makes the save! That was a rocket! The Canucks have had no shortage of opportunities tonight, but at some point, they need to start finishing here late in period number two. Vancouver's got the puck now. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Here's the chance to set up now. Back to the point it goes. Dishes it off. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Slides the pass over to Myers. Slides it across to Strong. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Center into the middle. Can't get the shot off. Feeds it over. Takes the shot. And he's got that one. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Teams are readying themselves at center ice as the third period is about to go. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Montreal have been driving play all game. They sit with a comfortable lead with 20 minutes to go here, and they need to make sure they manage the puck and make smart decisions, and then they can call this one a win. Zone. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Tries to get it over to Pedersen. Moves it around along the half wall. Passes it over. Taken along the wall by Doc. The Canadians will play it in their own end. Montreal's in now. And the puck skips away after that move. Line A's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick, and he lost possession. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Vancouver's gained possession. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. The Habs will play it from the defensive zone. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Rocked them in the open ice. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Oh, what a save in front. 
Moves the puck. Into the offensive end now. Strong defensive effort. Now a quick pass to Sherwood. Sends the pass over. Oh, how did that stay out? Oh, I don't even know how he made that save, James. That was all but in the net and complete desperation and complete level to make that one. Now look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. The Canucks have the advantage in shots tonight, but they still find themselves trailing here in the third period. Vancouver's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. That's gloved by Montembeau. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, Montreal's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Matheson. Taken by Suzuki. Montreal's got a hold of the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And the play continues. And it's a quick pass to Caulfield. And that's a great heads up play by Thorborg. Here's a short pass to Miller. The Canucks gain control of the puck. Denied by the goaltender. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Well past the midway mark of this period. 3-0 is where we sit. One team really enjoying this night. The other, not so much. And now it's grabbed by Barron. Quick pass to Doc. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Garland's going to play it against the half wall. Quick pass across to D'Arnais. Solid hit on the play. Denies him! Oh, and another quick stop! Well, he's been under siege and loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive scores. And a little sign of life here on the ice as they try to get back into it. Yeah, a little bit of a momentum swing right here. And now they've got a layer which means they've got to have that next shift where they attack and have the mindset to drive the net. Let's see if it's sustainable now. Well, often goaltenders today, they drop into the butterfly as a default position and make themselves as big as possible. Idea being, you want to take away as much of the net as you can. There's a lot of bodies in front, so a smart shot. He can't find it, and it finds its way to the back of the net. Vancouver's clearly sending a message that they're not going to roll over in this one. With a two-goal deficit, they have to have desperation and urgency. They'll need two players on the puck at all times. Retrieval to possess the puck is necessary. And now he moves it to Anderson. Great hits up play with the score. Oh, on the play! Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. And officials right on top of that one call it for a slashing penalty, it looks like. And coach is looking for an explanation here from the official. Yeah, I mean, he's getting the refs here because he wants to know why his team is being penalized more often. He's clearly having a factor in the game.
face off after the goalie covers up. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face off here on this power play. The Canadians will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Moves it to top. Dropped in traffic. He does that one. Passes the puck over to Hironic. Great pressure on the offensive end by Lane. Moves it quickly over to Caulfield. Keeps the hold of it on the play. Joshua's crossed the line and gained the zone. Montreal's got possession of the puck. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Montreal's opportunity to take advantage of the game is completely squandered as they fail to capitalize with the man advantage here. Timing is so important in embracing the pressure of that particular moment, James. And this power play win out there. Looks like their sticks were held tight and they couldn't find a way to execute. That's a tough one. Vancouver's been leading in the shot department most of the night, but they continue to trail here late in the third. Evans wins possession in the defensive zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Quick feed down low. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Goes right to the crease. That is right on target into the logo. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Canucks win the face-off. Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. Montembeau has been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. And he takes the feed. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. Sends it in front. And a pass. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Oh, and some smooth skating to lose the defender there. And he shuts the door again. erupts when he scores his goal, James. Why? Because he's tenacious on the play. He doesn't just shoot the puck. He finds his own rebound, and then he puts it in. That's a great play. Well, the coach is going to like this goal. It's all about the effort and habits, not turning away from the net after the original shot, James, but continuing to track it and able to deposit in the net. After that last goal, the team gets within one, and the coach sending a lot of feedback down, up and bow, down the bench. The temperature, the mood is changing. Vancouver's got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Bench is up, and stick taps all the way around, getting within one goal in the third period. You know how important this face-off is to get possession and start attacking in the ozone. attacker out there and Cheryl we know what this means well you have to get possession with that extra player on the ice they look to win that draw and convert on their opportunity and he elects to play the puck line A's got it along the boards we got a stoppage let's get the call I'm taking everything in and not to lose it on the official right now he's absolutely seething inside of that last call I mean they're down as late in the third pretty much seals the deal. Montreal's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Vancouver's going to start with the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Suter. Moves into the slot. Oh, stick save and a butte. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he
he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. The Canucks win it. Rocks him. Oh, just got a piece of that one up by Clark to keep it out. Great heads up play by the defender. And now he moves it quickly to Hughes. Good stand up hit. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Tremendous display of resiliency to pick up the win here as they faced and stared down the elimination show. Yeah, what a response. And you can feel the energy coming off of them, can't you, James? I mean, you can't really put your finger on it, but you can sense it. This is a motivated group. They're confident. They're collectively together right now, and they're extremely dangerous. A fun night of playoff hockey. And these playoffs, well, they have been intense, and they have been electrified so far. We will see you at the next broadcast. For Cheryl, I'm James. Good night.